So I think one of the key elements that has changed this generation is that our ability to break out of traditional notions of how you build community, that that has really changed, right? We have access to communications technology today that make it normative that we may span the globe in our day-to-day -day correspondences and receive real-time responses from almost anywhere on the planet to questions that we're asking. That's profoundly different organizing and makes possible profoundly different strategies and tactics that we use in our organizing. At the same time, we've seen, I think, an unprecedented level of surveillance and oppression. The use of these technologies to really try to lock down on this kind of organizing effort, to break that up. I've seen a lot of people that still have a zero-sum game analysis, where it's like, if I'm up, somebody else is down. If they're doing better, then I must be doing worse. And I've also seen a shift in thinking from individual siloized like tactics and strategies to ones that are really connected in this network of interrelated individuals and groups. I think what's shifted is that now we have the capacity, the ability to interconnect these, to form this global network of allied organizations and individuals. And so over the next quarter century, I think there's a real opportunity to shift the power base, to shift the the ways in which we can be effective at a changing, making meaningful, sometimes radical reforms happen in traditional political structures, regulatory structures, etc. But only if we find solidarity with one another, only if we identify the people that think likewise and form that network quite actively. So much of my work, I, I've been working on a 25-year plan now, although a lot of friends say, well, you're actually on a 40-year plan, you're just 15 years in. But the idea is really that how do we identify this network of people that are moving into positions of power and, and decision-making authority and then interconnect them so that when we're making these shifts, it can be a permanent, better change within society. So I'm a huge believer in the, something called the network effect, which is to say that everyone benefits the more that more people are part of a network. And we see this in things like telephony, we see it in internet connectivity, we see it in education, we see it in a lot of different facets of our lives. And in essence, the more inclusive we are, the more benefits accrue to everyone that's a part of that system. So this notion of everyone's a change maker makes perfect sense through that lens. The process by which we do that, by which we build solidarity and activate constituencies and interconnect them and create shared agendas and mutual support. I think that's what so many of the social entrepreneurs that are part of Ashoka are working on, right? I do that throughout the tech community, internet interconnecting the tech community with the policy community, you know, speaking geek and wonk and it translating between these different traditionally siloed constituencies.